Hi guys. St. Mary's Moya Girls. I come with violence. <laughs> you Gen Z aishi kwa barabara. So, my sister goes to St. Mary's Moya Girls. She's in form 3. Sai. Never been suspended. Always abiding by the rules. Ni mtoto tu anajua kufuata sheria. So, last term, second term of this year, before it, it came to an end, um, there was tension in the school. And this tension was brought about by Sujui from Foswell. I work on a kufanya there's a certain paper happening in Sujui. And I don't know what, I don't remember the name. There's a paper that they are fearing, or, or rather they have that fear, ya kuifanya. And uh, another thing I hear is... Um, they have a bully for a deputy principal. A bully. An insulting bully. And our two siyuko shule kama sijini So, this tension imekua built up the whole of second term. And um, I think the second last week before the term came to an end, at our kufanya exam, kikaumana, and they wanted to burn the school. Fortunately enough, the tension surpassed... Uh, the teachers control and uh, waka involve ministry makarao sijui akina nani and um, parents were asked to come pick their school we got a message at night usiku kujia mtoto wako bana nikubaya so parents rushed to school the next day um, tension everywhere asking what is happening the school ukifika tu shule kumeja makarao you are wondering what is happening so uh, they were asked to go back with their kids. Rudini nyumbani na wao. No newsletter, no no communication as to why we are going back with our kids. Just that watoto ndo anatuambia kuna tension. I'm my sister's guardian, so bado ni mtoto kwangu. Um, we go back home with the kids, waiting for communication. The whole of August, no communication from the school. No assignment at all to keep the kids busy. Nothing. Kaende, kaende. Tam, Agasti Kaisha, kids are supposed to report back to school. They send a, an, another message. But not every parent got this message, mind you. Some parents got the message while well, they share groups, the classes. Because I think every class has a group. So they share a message that report back to your students report back to school with your kid mrudishe personal shule ya kina sister saint mary's si shule ya watoto wapelekwe they ya wanakubali we tu matu mtoto atafika they have a biometric system akifika we are notified so this time we need the parents to accompany the kids parents go back hapo tu kwa gate mnaambiwa kama ulipata message Enda kwa baza. Kama hau kupata message, stand on this side. What? Yeah. Wale wanyo wanenda kwa baza, unambiwa, clear your areas. Kama ukona deni ya shule ya 30,000, weka 30,000 kwa account na utuonyeshe umeweka. Kama ukona deni ya 5,000, weka 5,000. During the school year, we had some academic clinics and... Um, I, I, I understand they imposed. Parents apparently did not consent because you are being asked for some amount for development. Uh, you are asked for uh, you and Ataka to provide your kids breakfast every morning, a bread, a slice of, a few slices of bread, and whatnot. So that is what was happening. So, easy added charges other than the school fees, easy my development, the you're supposed to clear for the whole year. I understand it comes to a total of around 14,000 or 13,000 and something. That is what accumulates the whole year. So, kama ujaku kilipa izoma added charges, izoma development fees, juu nini, hakuna venye mtoto wataingia class kama hauja clear. Kama kwa na school fees areas, hakuna kupita. So, parents are stranded. Oh, me kuja tu na fia ita mile ingine tu naongia na mwalimu vile tu naongia anga. You know? So that is what was happening. But wabaza, they were struggling on that side. 
parents that were asked to come on this side they did not get a message that you should bring your kid back to school no message yani no communication wewe jambu ulete mtoto wewe ulikuwa unasikia na wazazi wengine and you are not told why wewe kupati ukupata message so unaambiwa kama ukupata message wait until you get a message he eh? kudadiki they were told to go back home my sister is one of them wenye waliambua rudi hadi upate message so we are asking why why are we going back with the kids mind you watu wametumia fare wametumia mafuta you know some expenses that you could have avoided if you if you knew you're not supposed to report back until you are communicated to no communication rudisha mtoto nyumbani rudi na yeye until we ask you to come back so today in the morning we get a message i'm the official guardian of my sister we get a message uh, let your kid report back to school on the 9th next week monday please please thursday next week monday rudisha mtoto make sure we clear fee make sure umefanya nini 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 halafu mind you when this strike was happening nothing was damaged in the school no dormitory was burnt no glasses were broken no doors were broken no damages but the school is ordering parents for you for us to accept your kid back tulipe 1000 ya damages mlitumiza roho mm mlitumiza roho tulipeni 1000 so i'm trying to imagine this school has a total of around 1000 students so that means the school is getting roughly a million bob from parents ya damages the school is also getting money from parents ya development nothing is being developed in the school whatever i saw when we took my sister when joining from one is what i'm seeing to date siezi sema niliona dormitory mpya siezi sema niliona dining hall mpya or a new class a new lab a new laboratory a new admin block a new gate hakuna nothing nothing developed for the past three years but this year wameamua tutajua mjui and on top of that development fee mtatulipa 1000 juu mlituvunja maroho mlichukua watoto bila bila tamu kuisha and the ministry i think is in support of this so ministry of education is it kirinyaga or moya county <laughs> i'm putting you on blast mtuambi yo 1000 ya nini and i'm waiting to hear whatever that board hiyo board ya saint mary's moya whatever that board is going to accuse these kids of damaging or inciting because najua mtatupatia some bullshit stories of your kid was an inciter ali insight nini nini ilichomeka hiyo shule I'm waiting for you guys monday <laughs> you're not coming to laugh there and if your kid if you're a parent of st mary's moya comment hapa because we need we need we need a voice we need a voice i know i'm young i'm not i know i'm not a parent parent of a kid but my mother is struggling because of that school wala hiyo mtu angekuwa form 2 tungemtoa huko 